Hey guys, this is Casper with Tape, and today you join me for a collaborative warfare extra video. And uh, yeah, today we're doing mech suits, although kind of. Um, they're kind of sort of mech suits. They look vaguely mech-like, and they have a person inside. It's just a um, concept I was thinking of. Just a highly armored, highly small um, ground assault thing. So not like a tank, which would be quite easy. Although these, I guess, are almost tank-like since they do use like tracks. Um, and not walking legs, but I will hopefully work on walking legs. I'm not sure these are very applicable because when they travel at like um, the 10 meters a second maximum, it, it could be problematic. But anyway, we're going to go and assault this little, I think it's an iron powered space probe. But anyway, our glorious mech will roll down this hill and go to battle and glory and not be defeated except by slopes. Yeah, that a little bit fell over, which was a touch embarrassing, but hey, my missiles are still pointed forward, let's fuck shit up. So yeah, let's deploy our Hellfires. This of course has uh, four Hellfires and uh, three Sidewinders, so it can defend itself. And it does have a gun on the other side, if you didn't see it. Um, although only a very small one. This is the very early prototype, it's like the very first one, I haven't really done this much, so that's why it looks kind of dumb and is all set up terribly. Um, anyway, second try down the hill. I thought I'd go more straight so it wouldn't screw things up so much, but uh, yeah. And then I'm just going to drive over there and try like um, various weapon tests, so we'll just watch this drive at four times time accelerate. Because you don't want to, you don't want to uh, you sit through me driving. I mean, yeah, that's just boring stuff. Um, although that was technically 16 times time accelerate because I was game accelerating as well. Anyway, um, speeding across the surface once again. Uh, ridiculous speed, um, almost as fast as a Tesla. Uh, <laughs> I watched the Tesla Model X thing today, that was awesome. Anyway, let's shoot at this. I've already smashed it um, because this is a pretty pretty powerful gun and it's a pretty weak probe. Although it is tiny, it's that little stock iron powered space probe. And you can see I've just nailed the um, top bit. So yeah, I uh, might as well hellfire it now. Um, however, some of these hellfires are quite low down. As you saw, that one almost hit the ground. So sure, I love how they look when they turn. But anyway, um, yeah, so if I fire this one, surely it will hit the... Yeah, it a little bit hit the ground. So I tried the bottom one to see how bad it was, and the explosion threw me back, and I was sure that Jebediah Kerman was killed and done for. But the mech suit is actually pretty, pretty sturdy. And this may not be super functional, but it is super sturdy. So... Time to try and destroy this. Uh, most of this video is just me trying to destroy my mech suits because I didn't realize how just freaking invincible they are. Probably not against Maverick missiles, which I probably should have tried. But Hellfire seemed to be doing pretty well. So anyway, we are in our Red Hawk helicopter. Yes, I've actually named this now. If you saw the last episode, I, it was just simply named Helicopter, but I thought Red Hawk was uh, relatively apt. Anyway, my missile is flying in, but the uh, mech suit has countered with the... Uh, it's sidewinders, and I'm trying to shoot them down with my cannon, trying to emulate what a turret does, because this doesn't have any flares or anything, so now it's just trying to try to pull an evasive maneuver in a freaking helicopter, which doesn't go super great, since I don't... Oh, yeah, no, I do die. Well, whomever. Um, so, yeah, that's one for the mech suit, I guess, but let's hope we can destroy this with this single Hellfire missile, which I'm not very... I don't know, because it's a pretty tough mech suit, but if it gets a direct hit, maybe, right through the viewport, you will have seen there's actually a proper viewport for the um, Kerbal, I thought that was pretty necessary, but it is pretty heavily armoured, but if you got a square bullet through there, and well no, a bullet square through there, you'd probably kill the Kerbal, but hopefully that won't happen, look, it's for switching back, dun dun, um, and the, there we go. Yeah, I thought the Kerbal was dead then, but it actually wasn't. And the reason it didn't shoot is because I was pointing my gun the wrong way. But Jeb is fine, we only lost like a couple of panels. Insane strength! Anyway, attack number two. Um, and I'm trying to flare to get away from these missiles, but the missiles are having none of it. Uh, and they kill me before I can even get a missile away. Um, so, yeah, that's two for the mech suit, I guess. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, I just wanted to do some weapons tests without being shot at, so I start spraying it with the um, Vulcan cannon I have on this. Uh, well, the Vulcan turret, I guess. Uh, strips off a few, few things, like the missiles, but Jeb is still fine. He is just invincible inside this mech suit. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm not sure if this would be super viable, but the technology seems to be pretty tough, so maybe I could apply it to something. Um, but I guess covering anything in an insane amount of metal would make it pretty tough. But anyway, that's... Uh, Go in the notebook for future tests, um, or future weaponry, I guess. Anyway, coming around for a second pass, I get a few more shots off, but it still pretty much looks like the mech suit's fine. So I, you know, kind of tried, decided to change tack for a while, and uh, may have unleashed hell with um, 
rocket pods. These are the pretty weak rocket pods, they're not like the super big ones, but still, I thought I could do some damage. Um, pretty hard to aim as well, but luckily there's loads, so I just start unleashing hell and hoping I get at least one hit. And a little while, I think it's like this one? Yeah, there you go, it flings it off to the side, and I'm sure that uh, Jeb is done for at this point, but it actually looks relatively intact. Um, so I'll just make sure the helicopter doesn't crash, because we've already lost a bunch of these. Um, obviously, this is just a simulation. We wouldn't actually fire at Jebediah, even though I'm pretty sure he's dead in collaborative warfare. Anyway, Jeb is still alive, so I just decided to hellfire him a few times, and uh, just watch them fall in. Pings off. I he can't be alive now. I mean, after being flung, he's fine. I mean, the armor's pretty wrecked now, and all the weapons are gone, but Jeb is fine. I think this would be a pretty good um, aid ship if I ever need to get people out of an evil battle zone, like Penguin and his just random murder of a bunch of people and, like, stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, he's pretty evil. Uh, because you can't trust a penguin. Penguin are bad people, and that's something you've got to keep in mind. It's a life lesson. Penguin are just, penguins are just evil. Um, pretty sure Hitler was a penguin, so, you know, time to bear that in mind. Uh, but anyway, I guess we'll just keep trying to kill this guy, because he's super, super evil. Um, oh no, no, Jeb's fine, no, he's our, our, our guy, although I'm pretty sure Velux killed him. And Velux we were technically at war with-ish. Uh, <laughs> not much of a to and fro that way. Oh shit, looks like we flipped over. Oh, it's gonna be Red Hawk down, Red Hawk, oh my god, oh god. Oh no, I saved it. I actually kind of thought I crashed there. Hmm, weird world. Anyway, um, this has been flung into the air, and surely Jebediah is dead now. And he is! We finally killed him! It, just thank God, because our helicopter program is, uh, you know, gotta have some sort of merit. Anyway, time to try and wreck it with an empath, so that we can actually test out the guard mode. I've orienta orientated the um, mech to face where I'm going to be firing from, so we can watch it try and shoot down missiles, and it also now has a flare system to try and ward off missiles. I'm not sure how well how well that will work. Anyway, coming back around, we're on Team B, preparing to get hit, and this time, because we're not in a helicopter, we probably won't be hit by those missiles, because, uh, you know, far superior aircraft. Um, planes are better than helicopters, that's just a thing. But, you know, helicopters can ground units, don't question it, it just makes sense, or no one would use them, and it means you can do more attacks, like my last turn, so if you don't hate the the Nazi penguins, then you should support the whole helicopter as a ground unit rule. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I think our missile's going in. You can see it's trying to shoot down the missile, but uh, unsuccessfully. And it looks like we've got a hit, and it looks pretty good, but uh, the main like box where the Kerbal is seems pretty unpenetrated, so I'm pretty sure Jeb is still alive. Anyway, time to go invert it and pop off another missile. I quite like that maneuver. It's uh, <laughs> If you're really close, you can just twist your plane around until you're facing it, and it's, you know. Anyway, I uh, hit it again, but, uh, I don't think we've destroyed the probe core, so I'm assuming Jeb is still alive, uh, but I guess we'll just keep trying to kill him in the simulation, obviously, because, you know, we wouldn't kill our real soldiers unless they're traitors. Um, yeah, Jeb's, Jeb's fine. He is invincible. That mech suit is just freaking bullshit, but good. So, yeah. Um, although the wheels make it pretty slow. I guess if I've made a hover mech suit, although if they destroyed one of the hover things. And I'm actually already kind of working on a tank, and that might just, and that would have a longer range. I mean, yeah, because the thing about wheels is, I guess I could drop it from an aircraft. Ooh. Yeah, I guess that would have to take the Kerbal out so it could be a drone. Although I guess I could just be like, hey guys, let me put a Kerbal in it. It would be way more cool, um, and we'll still count it as a drone. Um... Yeah, I guess it could be airdropped. Just airdrop into mechs, and I mean they're pretty hardy. So as long as I defend the weapons better, and I'm just getting some shots off there, and we get one hit, but I don't think it's done anything because this is fucking invincible. <laughs> yep, inside the safety cube, he is fine. What a bastard! This is actually still the Mark One. I haven't really changed this a huge amount, um, but there will be some uh, new one in the next little clip. But yeah, I, I'm thinking because if I can protect the weapons as well as I protect the Kerbals, I mean. I could I could do some serious damage. I mean, just invincible. Jeez. Anyway, um, while firing missiles, uh, something went wrong, and one of my missiles clipped my empav. Something I should probably work on. So I'm just gonna bail out because, well, we only want to kill one couple. Ooh, there goes another missile. I think we nailed it. Um, but I assume Jeb will be fine because that mech suit is just insane. Oh, uh, yep, that just fine. Just not even not even phased. Slams into the ground. Is just fine. 
I mean, why do we even use parachutes? Why not just have a mech suit? Anyway, this is the Mark II. It's got a much better cabin. No Kerbal in there, but you can put one in there. Um, you climb up through the back, and there's no actually entry door this time like there was last time. Um, but a few more missiles. Better laid out as well, so they won't hit the ground. Um, it's also got two turrets now on the side, and flares, just tons of flares. And it's slightly more hardy, it's actually, um, the, it's made more to deflect things, because it's, it's more even, if you saw the last one, the, the kind of um, Kerbal protection thing was kind of a mess. Anyway, trying to blow up this little lander thing, uh, do a pretty good job, uh, pretty much wreck everything. Um, but yeah, this, uh, the, the, this is just kind of more, you can see it's kind of just more even, it looks slightly better. I should probably put some more armor on the back, but yeah. And all the missiles don't hit the ground this time, probably. Yep, uh-huh. <laughs> but yeah, I prefer this design. Um, I'm not really liking the missile placement. It looks kind of dumb. But I guess I can work on that if I do decide to implement these. Uh, there we go. There's another hit. I think I actually killed the pod this time. So, yeah, pretty uh, pretty effective pretty effective thing. Now it's got two turrets, twice the shooting power, and I was just messing around with them. I've destroyed everything I have out here to shoot, so I guess... To shoot the uh, space center. A lot of destroyable stuff in the space center. Um, so let's just blow some things up with these guns, because 30 millimeters, yeah, and just deploy the uh, the sidewinders. Yeah, tons of weaponry on this. Um, I'd probably just make it a little bigger, a little bulkier. Although I'm kind of thinking a tank might just be more effective, because it wouldn't have to be all mech suity. And I actually do have a tank in the works. Uh, but anyway, let's just set about destroying the space center because, well, this is Twitchy land, I guess. Um, this is obviously a different save. I'm not actually just testing in Twitchy's land. Um, but yeah, I'm just, you know, just setting about destroying things, making a point to Glorious Leader. Um, obviously, Glorious Leader can fix all of this with his mind because, uh, well, he's magic and stuff. Sadly, the Territorial Arctic Protection Entente doesn't have magic, which is a shame. I feel like that would put us at an advantage, but we do have brute force and mech suits, so that's good. Anyway, onto the idea of a walking mech suit. I tested out some very early walking prototypes um, using Infernal Robotics. The first one I didn't set up the groups properly, so it kind of just, just kind of, the, the second leg just kind of doesn't really work. Um, this is a very hard thing to do, but I was interested to see if it was possible. And the main problem was the fucking metal sinks into the runway. So I can't use it. So yeah, you can see here it's going to pop out. Um, this I did set up the groups properly, but f kind of forgot how walking worked. So, you know, it was kind of actually just quite difficult to figure out how to how to walk with one of these. So you move the hip, right? And then you fall backwards and die. That's how you walk, right? Because that's how I walk. Um, you can see the giant feet. The problem is they freaking sink into the runway. Stupid KSP and its collisions. That's probably Unity's fault. Stupid Unity. Stupid everything that isn't me. Uh, maybe I'll put it in a different base and try it. But yeah, you can see I'm having trouble standing up now. Um, but yeah, I, I like the idea of like a war walker. That would be so ominous, just walking over the hill, firing missiles. But I don't know if it's even a bit viable. So, yeah. But that would not stop me because I'm crazy. So I did try one more time just to see if I could walk. And it didn't go so great. Um, slightly better. I, I, it, I was able to stand up for longer. But, uh, yeah, I pretty much just kind of... I, I took about a step, but I can't imagine this being very fast. But you could make walkers. I've seen it done. Um, maybe not two-legged, but like a six-legged war walker. Kind of Star Wars thingy style. What, what planet is that? Um, Tatooine? I don't know. There's some kind of giant walker in there. <laughs> uh, not, not, not the AT-ATs. Um, I mean, the ATSTs even. I mean, like that, uh, I think, what, like the Republic one that's kind of like a giant rhino thing? I don't know. Uh, I think it will be cool. <laughs> but anyway, I, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been uh, a little bit of dumb stuff that I probably will never get implemented. Uh, I'll see you next time.